This is Dr. A.J. Shah. I'm sitting down with uh, Mr. Wagner here, Richard Wagner. So tell me about Mr. Wagner. How did I meet you and uh, what happened over the last four months for you? Well, I had uh, trouble breathing and uh, I got recent pneumonia and was treated for that and then still kept having problems. Ended up, the uh, doctor said I needed to get in and see a cardiologist and I called you and you got me right in and from there on I'm, uh, I don't know, I'd say 100% better. So let me re-explain you what happened. When I saw you, your heart muscle was very weak right. and you were in a congestive heart failure. Right. And uh, essentially you had what we call cardiomyopathy. Your heart muscle wasn't just squeezing and that was retaining a lot of salt and water and that's the reason you were not breathing well. So once we get you out of the congestive heart failure, once we ask you to take proper medications, and once I ask you to completely avoid all the caffeine and alcohol and everything else, your heart muscle is getting stronger. And now it's up to a point where it's close to be normal. So that's a great feeling. Oh, yeah. Now, if I understood, you also asked me to talk to uh, one of the insurance company where you bought this insurance so in case if you develop any catastrophic uh, concerns injury or accident or illness you want to make sure that you get some additional uh, resources and money so you can cover all the illness and also cover your co-pays and cover the, the money you lost from losing the hours you would work so you bought that insurance now tell me what happened with that insurance well the I don't want any name, just no. tell me what happened. Well, they, they looked at it and said that my condition wasn't under their rules, I guess. Of, why? Of heart failure. Uh, I'm not sure why. It's, well, it's, if, I, if I understand correctly, what I read, and we'll look into yeah. more details of it. Maybe we are not reading the whole uh, micro details here. But what I read from the quick one you gave me, it looks like uh, if uh, Mr. Wagner had a heart attack, it would have been covered. But if Mr. Wagner has a heart failure, which is worse than a heart attack, if he has a weak heart, which is worse than heart attack, it's not going to be covered. So to me, it's as almost like, a, it's almost like a, the micro details, what a person like Mr. Wagner, who forgets or doesn't understand or pretty much, uh, pretty much trust the company, to cover and then he signs that insurance policy that if something happens to my heart I'll be covered and most people think of it as a heart attack when it happens that if I have a heart attack I'll be covered but in his case he developed something which is worse than heart attack and that's heart failure right. and I would be very very to be frank with you surprised and shocked if the insurance company who have bought this catastrophic insurance doesn't cover. My gut feeling is once we explain them that this is worse than heart attack, they will cover it. Our job is to just to explain them that this is worse than heart attack. Because many times when these insurance claims are adjusted or are taken care of it, it's the secretary or the nurse and they say, sir, did you have a heart attack? Nope, you're not covered. But they have to be explained that what you went through is worse than heart attack. Remember that. Great. So I'll make sure that happens. Okay. Anything else? Uh, overall, you're feeling well? Feel great. Feel great? I really do. What's your next step? My next step? Well, exercise, exercise, lose some weight. Lose weight. I guess that's a, another challenge. But yeah. Looking back, what, what could you have done differently? Um, well, I would have... Uh, probably got into the doctor a little sooner and yeah. wouldn't have waited. And why did you wait? Well, it was the pneumonia, they said that... No, I'm talking about two years ago, five years. Do you, did you see doctor regularly? Yeah, I, see, see, see. I, I see one every... Every year four, so. four, four months. Every four months. So you do have a regular checkup. So. Right. So this was just an a, a, a out of a blue condition which you just didn't have, you couldn't predict it. No. It just was just happened to you, we just need to take care of it. Right. Okay, fair call. And do you know CPR? How to do yeah, CPR? Yeah, yeah. And does your wife know how to do CPR? I'm not sure, no. Do you know how to do CPR? 
So let me put this way. You know how to do CPR. So if she gets in trouble, you will do CPR on her. Right. Now you are my patient, right? Right. So I'm worried about you more than anybody. I'm worried about her, but more about you. Right. So if you get in trouble, who's going to do CPR? Uh, hopefully somebody around. <laughs> not your wife? <laughs> well, so what if she's not around me? But Let's see yeah. she's around you. Well, then well, I'm in trouble. So what do we need to do? We need to mm -hmm. teach her CPR. Yeah, she needs a class. Yeah. She needs a class.